When I look five to ten years out and think about what are the exciting areas when it comes to engineering, I'm always astounded by what we're going to be able to do. If you want to work in biology, if you want to work in aeronautics, if you want to work in space, every aspect of all of these industries in the future are going to need engineers. We have gone through a period of, of ignorance as to the impact of humanity on nature and the impact of nature on humanity. And as we get to a period of technological enlightenment, it's exciting to think about the roles that engineers will be playing in solving problems that we're going to have, like dealing with trash through innovative recycling methods, making products that are much more optimal in their use of resources. I think the world is getting smaller. More people have passports now, people travel. You kind of see people of different sizes, different shapes, different abilities. The world is really, really changing. You try to figure out who are these people, what culture they live in, what lifestyle they live in, and how can you make their life better. One of the things that I'm most excited about is as we approach the year 2020, the size of meaningful computational power, so the size of the chip that we put in devices, approaches zero. So what that means is we can put a chip into anything. We can make everything smart. We can make this chair smart. We could make my jacket into a computer. We will be surrounded by computational intelligence. As consumer electronics become more a part of being us, the standard that these things have to be designed for has to be much, much higher. And I think that's a really interesting place where you're gonna see a lot of innovation. Is it how I wanna express myself? Is it something that I actually wanna live with? And that's where I think the voice of women coming in is gonna be really important to be heard. If you wanna change people's lives, Biomedical engineering is the best place to do that because we can create the engineered devices that adjust the functionality of somebody's body in a way that addresses some malfunction of natural processes. And that means that you will be directly affecting the life of an individual. You're gonna have the, the capability and have the tools to work in areas like architecture. And the tools that we're creating for that completely change how we conceptualize the world and conceptualize buildings and conceptualize bridges. And then one of the things that you could work in, that uh, why, why you wouldn't work in this, I have no idea, is robotics. There's going to be these incredible advances in robotics, not only industrial robots, but medical robots and personal robots. Engineers don't need to have the, the large infrastructure around them to be able to make big change in the world. They need a good team of friends, they need a little bit of money, and they need great ideas. Now we're at a point where you can go from something in your imagination to something that's in the marketplace in a short time span without having to spend a lot of money. I can look up online in a catalog and find all the parts I need in an hour. I can 3D print things that I don't have. That, I think, is incredibly transformational. There is this link between entrepreneurship and engineering, which is, I think is definitely getting stronger. If you have a great idea, you've got skills, you can build something, you know, you can go out there and just start your own company. What gets me excited about tomorrow and 10 years from now is I see the impact of engineers being very direct, creating better conditions for, for living, to create better harmony between humans and the nature that sustains our lives. And that's where the opportunity is for this new crop of engineers. How can I make the world better for everyone else? How do we take that status quo and make it reflect what the world is becoming today? There are so many jobs today that we didn't have 10 years ago. And there's gonna be even more jobs 10 years from now that nobody could even dream of. And that's what this engineering education will give you, is that ability to follow your passions. I think the future is gonna be awesome because we're going to build it.